بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ونوله وبعد الحمد لله. The قصيدة بوردا is the most famous poem recited in the world. It is the most famous poem in praise of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم. The question is why, how, who wrote this poem? This poem consists of 160 lines or couplets. And it was authored by Imam Muhammad ibn Sa'id al-Busiri rahimahullah ta'ala, Sharaf al-Din al-Busiri, a great scholar, a great lover of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa from Alexandria in Egypt rahimahullah ta'ala. And he was struck, he was debilitated with the illness of paralysis. And in that time, he had written and was writing poems in praise of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa And he wrote several poems showing his love and praising the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and you know his lament over his situation and one of those poems was al kawakib al durriya fi madhi khair al bariya the celestial lights in praise of the best of creation and one night in his paralysis he was asleep and in a dream he saw himself reciting the poem to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in a gathering of people and the prophet was showing joy and happiness at listening and hearing these beautiful lines of poetry and in the dream, the Prophet ﷺ gave his cloak, which in Arabic would be burda, to Imam Sharaf al-Din al-Busiri rahimahullah ta'ala. And Imam al-Busiri woke up. And as he woke up, he found his paralysis had been cured. He was no longer paralyzed and unable to move half his body. He'd been cured from this illness. And he also found the blessed cloak of the Prophet ﷺ with him. And for this reason, the poem famously became known as the Qasida of Burda, the poem of the cloak. Although the original name and the actual name is Al Kawakib al Durriya, the celestial lights, illuminating lights of the, the, the celestial bodies, Fi Madhi Khair al Bariya, in praise of the best of creation. That was the poem, that was the incident. But what then happened was Imam Busiri went out onto the streets and he came across a man and the man asked him for the poem and he said what poem are you asking about and he said the burda give me that poem the burda and Imam Busiri realized this man knows about the poem and about the cloak and he said I was there last night and I was listening to you reciting the poem to the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and I won that poem it was so amazing and beautiful so this man was given the poem by Imam Busiri not so that he could present it to anybody or make it famous, but just because he was there and he could also read it and recite it and benefit from it, mashallah. This man decided to take it further and he took it to the gatherings, he took it to the leaders and he told them about the poem and how beautiful it was and everybody loved the poem, loved the rhythm of the poem, uh, the, the beautiful chorus as we say, Mawla ya salli wa sallim da'iman abada ala habibika khair al-khalqi kullihimi became well known and widespread at that time and everybody started to recite the poem and it became narrated to the future generations and it started to spread from the, to the east to the west and today we find the Qasida Burda has reached for, to the lands of Malaysia and Indonesia to South Africa to Australia and United Kingdom uh, all the way to Singapore and to Morocco and every Muslim land every Muslim uh, country and area that Muslims have gone to, they have taken with them this beautiful poem in praise of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi wa A poem where Imam Busiri is lamenting, is expressing his love, is his, his desire to meet the Beloved, his longing for the Beloved, his own state of deficiency that he was in, but then became a great man of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and became a great saint, a great wali through his poetry, through his worship, through his repentance and he presents the beautiful characteristics of the Prophet ﷺ. he praises him, he mentions the beauty of the Qur'an and the miracle of the Qur'an and other miracles of the Prophet ﷺ, as well as the Isra wal Mi'raj, a whole chapter dedicated to that miraculous night journey and also talks about the Sahaba and the Prophet and his courage and their struggles and then finally finishes with the repentance and the interse intercession of the Messenger of Allah and a plea to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive him and to make his, him 
on the Day of Judgment successful due to his being connected to the Prophet and he actually says in a beautiful part of the poem that surely I have a covenant with the Messenger of Allah Do you know what this covenant is, he says? He says that I have been named Muhammad Imam Basiri was called Muhammad ibn Sa'id I have been named Muhammad and because I have the same name with the Prophet I know he will fulfill that covenant He's the best of those, the most loyal of those who fulfills covenants. And truly it is a blessing to have the name of the Prophet ﷺ, the name Muhammad in our homes, name our children, and it brings blessings to everybody around us, alhamdulillah. So may we be people who pick up this poem and recite it, who memorize this poem, who join that chain of narration back to Imam al-Busiri, who authored the poem and connect to this beautiful tradition. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. مولاي صلي وسلم دائما ابدا